A really important part of the preventative health protocols that we would use in practice will be around worming. It'll differ, different life stages, different types of animals, um, but probably from a canine perspective, the, the most important time we want to think about it is really at the beginning, because puppies will come potentially carrying worms the minute you get them. They inherit worms from their mother, they will be having, they'll have worms as they're, when they're born, and they will get more worms through the milk, and that can be very variable. Some puppies are really wormy by the time they're eight weeks of age, if they haven't been wormed early. So we're going to start that process good and early with puppies ideally at about two weeks of age, and we're going to do that regularly, because worms that survive in a puppy will lay thousands and thousands of eggs and very rapidly will contaminate the puppy's living environment and they'll be reinfesting themselves. So we need to be treating them repeatedly at appropriate intervals, probably every three or four weeks when they're, when they're 10 or 12 weeks of age when I get to see them. Um, and that's critical for their health. If you see puppies that haven't been wormed young and were unlucky enough to have a heavy burden, they can be in really, really poor condition. And when we do worm them, if they've got masses of worms inside them, you make them sick because of all the dead worms that they now have to get rid of. So we, we occasionally see some really serious problems with worms in young animals. But ongoing, animals can get access to worms outside uh, where other dogs' droppings have been left and the, 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 the little roundworms, Toxicara, the one that we probably talk about the most, is really, really resilient in the environment. Those eggs will last for ages and ages. So parks and footpaths and towpaths and places where we see a lot of dog soiling, then there'll be a lot of worms on the ground there. So your dog is potentially exposed to worms every day of its life. So we need a regime where we can worm them at sufficiently uh, frequent intervals to make sure that worm burden never gets to anything that's going to do, any, do it any harm. So that's from the dog's perspective. The dog will not thrive well if it's got a worm burden because those worms are competing with the dog for nutrients in its intestines. So they'll, they'll, they'll potentially be thin and poor. Fortunately, because people, I think, understand this now, we very rarely see adult dogs in a poor condition through worms, but puppies we do still see. But there's more to it than that, because there's a, there's a significant public health issue. Um, Toxicara eggs can be ingested by people, and then they can cause problems in people's bodies, and I think a lot of you will have heard about eye problems and blindness that can happen in children if they've been exposed to Toxicara. So I think those of us who have dogs, um, and cats as well, by the way, I've got a responsibility to everybody else to make sure that we worm them thoroughly so we're not putting our uh, friends and neighbours at risk.